Hey Jack, real quick, here is your, well, hold on. Here is your assignment right here. And we're gonna make a line graph over in yours. So I just took out the name of the A3 cell right there just by deleting it. And then I'm gonna grab round one through four, Jordan Spieth, his four scores. And then we're going to insert a chart, which you've already done, you've gotten this far, absolutely. Okay, so there's our chart right there. And then over here, we're, we don't want a column chart, so we're gonna go down to a line chart. And that's gonna give us a line chart right there. And if we want to add in the data labels, I'm gonna show you just three quick little things that'll make this chart. I mean, this is a pretty basic, kind of ugly looking chart. We wanna really dress it up a little bit so that people can display the data, or we can show the data that, that we want displayed. So if we go over to customize over here and customize, what we can do is we can take the series drop down and that is going to add our data labels which is going to put the four scores for each round right on the chart for us so we click data labels boom that's done so we see 64 round one 66 round two 70 70 rounds three and four okay that dresses it up real nice right there so people aren't guessing oh is that a 62 is that a 63 no it's a 64 you shot 64. okay another thing that we can do is we can add a chart title right now it just has jordan spieth because that is our chart title right there but maybe we want to put jordan spieth's masters 2015. okay and then oh that's great but that's still an ugly looking title so let's bold it let's change the color masters is always green let's make it green let's center it on our chart and boom that just dresses it up a little bit right there okay so there's some there's number two that you can do the third thing that we can look at is our horizontal axis nobody can shoot from 0 to 20 or 0 to 40 in golf or even anything below 59 right so we can go to our horizontal axis and we can just shrink this horizontally and uh, give it a minimum excuse me maybe it's vertical yep it's vertical the minimum and maximum so we'll say minimum his lowest score is a 64 so maybe we'll say the minimum is a 60 and max he had a max score of 70 so maybe we'll go to 75 and then all of a sudden we have a chart that represents the scores that he actually shot. So we add the data labels, we change the minimum and maximum under our vertical axis, and then we added a little bit of flair, a little bit of color and symmetry to our chart title. Those three things takes about two minutes and you have a good looking chart. All right, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.